Well, what's up? Uh, in this video, I'll tell you about a couple different um, bug fixes and optimizations I've done recently to Wraith Binder to make it more playable, to make it more fun. We've got the music playing here, sound effects, things like that. Really has improved the fun. Check out some of this stuff, though, that kind of detracts from the experience. What the heck is going on in the background right here? It's definitely some bug. I'll tell you what's actually happening, and I don't exactly understand why. Um, but I've fixed the bug and I'll show you how I fixed it, but um, I still don't understand why and at this point I've spent too much time on it, so I really can't figure out why at this point So I'm just gonna Accept that my workaround is good enough. Check this out. If I If I turn on my debug display all of a sudden the background clouds turn all good If I go back to no debug display all the clouds turn into these weird pixely shapes and what's actually it's actually showing is the voxel frame buffer Right? That's actually, it's switched, it somehow switched the texture for the clouds and instead is using the texture for all of these background, all of the voxels, right? See those, even those little like, uh, sp uh, little sparkles coming off of these, um, home lanterns right here. You can see those even reflected in the, um, in some of those background cloud squares. Another weird thing is that if I slow down time, now I'm at two thirds time. It works and then I go back to one regular speed and it's still working I think this has this could possibly be something related to Coco's 2DX underneath my entire Wraith Binder engine I'm still using Coco's 2DX and I think it could be that uh, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it but let's take a look at the solution um, it's really simple uh, so instead of instead of using um, this is before I was using uh, sprites for all of the background labels. So all the background labels that you saw there where it showed like the frame rate and the, the time spent on the AI system and all those little debug displays, those have a background um, darker rectangle. And that rectangle is just a pixel that's scaled up. And um, for some reason, if I use sprites there, it doesn't work. But if I switch to using planes, which is... Um, just uh, is just basically um, a, a triangle, two triangles without a texture. Um, it works. So let's go ahead and run this. Um, I have no, I've really, once again, I have no idea why this is working, but it really does improve the play experience, in my personal opinion. Instead of looking at that crazy, weird, ugly background, now we've got a nice looking, cloudy background as it's supposed to be. Okay, so that's one bug fixed. Um, check out this other one. This is pretty important. Um, if I rotate the camera, uh, we'll get to this point where we've gone off of somehow, well, we have, um, this weird area right here where there's just no, um, there's no voxels. There's, there's some voxel glitch, right? So here, now we've just run into weird, weird, super weird voxel territory. Here's, um, here's the way to fix that. Um, basically when the, when the camera rotates, it's, it, I did an optimization where it resets its render grid right when it starts to do its rotation, and then um, I didn't have this line of code in there before, right? At the end, it would clear its on-screen box and then re, um, recompute all of the current on-screen entities, but it didn't reset the render grid. This is what actually cleans it up and makes it so um, it knows exactly which entities are where in two dimensions so it can quickly look up what entity is at a certain 2d position so here we are let's rotate that camera again and now we have perfectly nice rotation it doesn't matter how many times you rotate the camera looks great no matter what and there's no more visual glitch with that voxel thing which certainly detracted from the experience because you couldn't really rotate the camera without messing everything up and um, okay, so that's nice, right? Another bug fixed. Uh, let's take a look at another one that was uh, really slowing down the entire game, especially when I when uh, when the boss suddenly was on the screen. Um, and that is, check this out in refresh model. It chooses chooses a model rotation and a light rotation. So every single model in the game is actually for every single frame of every single model in the game. It actually is has 64 different. Uh, frames in memory uh, eight for all of the compass directions and then eight times that 
for all of the light rotations that could be at that compass rotation. So as you rotate the camera, we need all 64 of those depending on your model rotation and your light rotation. Um, now, however, uh, recently I've added some stuff into the game so that it you can rotate your character 360 degrees. Technically, um, right? You're in your this entity. If I had if I were to draw a little um, arrow on the ground, you could see that he's actually rotating in 360 degrees. Um, he ends up the the rendering part though. He only renders on 45 degree segments, right? Or 45 degree compass directions, right? That's that's. Uh, if we were to try and do 360 degrees, we would be way over our memory limitations. Look at, we're already almost using a gig of memory, um, and that's not counting a lot of other stuff. Basically, if we were to multiply every single, whatever, it would cost too much memory to rotate 360 degrees every single model. And besides, they kind of look really stupid when the models are rotated at like 20 degrees or 21 degrees. It's like the pixels look like garbage. I've got some ideas to fix all that and make the, especially to make the 45 degree rotations look really good. Um, however, um, so for now, the, the point here is that we've got a 360 degree mathematics going on for the movement of the character and the rotation of the character, but we've only got eight different uh, compass directions that we need to do the rendering for. Um, so what was going on here was that we've got these 360 degree rotations, but then inside model get cached, it was allowing all 360 degrees of those, so it would, it was all, it was tons of cache misses at runtime, so we'd have to go load a model, uh, shade it for its certain, uh, for its, its light angle, uh, rotate it to its certain model rotation, and then return that to the game where it would refresh that model inside the, the render component, basically a lot of work to be done at runtime there if, if you're trying to do that uh, so the whole point is to not really do that while you're playing while you're in the gameplay do it while you're loading right so um, basically the solution here is just to basically st step all those rotations down to 45 degrees so instead of 360 degrees we've got 45 degree increments right here this is basically um, doing that right there it's using math step I to step the 360 down to 45 degree increments and then mod 360 I to um, make it so if it goes over 360 degrees it goes back to zero and it's a nice uh, that way it can cache just perfectly so that actually sped up the game incredibly uh, that was a huge slowdown another huge slowdown was in the AI system uh, AI systems uh, uh, what was it get collision um, all EIDs I don't remember where this is but but there was a um, there was a huge slowdown here in and get, well, not a huge slowdown, but I, I optimize getting collisions, which is something that AI does almost every single time it calls um, uh, target nearest. So every time it calls target nearest, it has to go and search for all the co all the collision entities in within a certain distance with a certain collision flags. So that is kind of an expensive thing to call target nearest opponent living within a hundred uh, voxels. That shouldn't be done very often so I've got here some timers here so that it doesn't really do it um, that often anymore it does it only every five seconds and then there's some other optimizations in the collision system to make sure that, that is also uh, really nice and optimized so there you have it a lot of different uh, uh, improvements to the gameplay to make it just more playable and runs really nicely now all those bug fixes really added up to be something really nice. And uh, I also got looping sounds working, so let's see if we can... Did I steal his... Okay, I stole that guy's boots. Here we go, cool, I have the top hat. So, um, or slash the boomerang. If we have a boomerang, um, we'll get out of god mode right here. Let's use the boomerang, right? We've got the boomerang sound effect now. That is a looping sound. So I had to do some stuff to make sure that, that looping, the looping sounds work well. This is kind of fun. Check this out. If you go, <laughs> I like this. If I throw the boomerang right here and then use the teleport, it's going to be super fun, right? We're going to use the teleport and the boomerang's going to come all the way across the level and come back to us. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Uh, another thing that's cool uh, recently I've done is um, to make fighting the boss seem cooler, right? There's a little bit of an intro as you go to fight the boss. Let's see if we can find another character. I, if I kill another character, we'll warp to the boss because I have the skip to boss flag on right now. There we go. Let's just delete this, I mean, uh, cheat to kill that guy.
So it's kind of a neat thing where we've got the light going off and all the characters facing the middle and the camera zoomed out. Uh, the boss still is just has a lot of work left to be done to make it more fun. And I'd like to make the boss actually lots of different pieces. I think that would be really cool because you've got eight different players here. It'd be nice if there were at least eight different pieces of the boss to fight. Um, and maybe a bigger arena, some other stuff like that. But oh, dude, check it out. They actually did well. Yeah, the bots killed it. Killing it. So there you have it. Lots of little improvements to kind of make the whole game kind of actually a game now. And uh, lots of gameplay improvements to be done in the near future. Thanks for watching this video. Catch you next time.